fourth fight of the night is a corporate bout. It is for the Duco Heavyweight Corporate Championship. It is four two minute rounds and it is a grudge match. Could you please welcome the Tom and Bear? He'd like to get a little bit uh, of revenge by avenging his uh, his loss uh, on the score sheets anyway. And uh, he's got plenty of power and plenty of stamina. So we look forward to this fight with the Brown Butterbee. Here he is, the Tongan Bear. One twenty-four seven, And his opponent... Brown Butterbean. So the Brown Butterbean, aka Dave Mattelli, makes his way in here. He's become a folk hero. Butterbean motivation, uh, private uh, motivation on Facebook, but he's really become a uh, pretty darn good boxer since he started out. He's uh, four kilos lighter for this fight than he was in his last fight in August. And he looks in pretty fine shape, and he's a very much improving boxer, so he's getting much more athletic. That's incredible, Dave. 122.4. That's... 122.4. So to put that in perspective, his first bout in July last year was 168. We're 210. Yep. That's by far the lightest you've ever weighed in. Uh, uh, Mark's from the TOB. Uh, this fight, this is interesting because there is a bit of controversy from that first fight. What do you think Tom and Bear won? Yeah, I thought Tom and Bear won last time. No disrespect to the Butterbean, but I thought the Tom and Bear won last time. Um, but since then, Butterbean's had what, five or six fights. Uh, the Tom and Bear hasn't, and um, obviously Dave's in great shape. So we've got him as a favourite at uh, $1.55. The beer at 2.30, so, um, and the money's on the bean as it was last year. Dave, um, what do you make of those TAB odds? I think they're a disgrace, to be honest. <laughs> you know, thanks to the TAB for sponsoring it. You know, we always, we always have a bit of banter between us, you know, I'm only joking, uh, but uh, yeah, those, those odds are a, a bit of a joke, and what he said at first, when that he, that he thinks that Tom and Bear won, you know, it's just like a lot of these guys, uh, a lot of these uh, these cubs, they come out of uh, the hibernation, you know, when the Butterbean comes out to play. You know, when um, they start hating on me again, and then, you know, now, now they're going to, tomorrow they'll be my best friend asking me for photos, so, you know what I mean? You are actually the most relaxed I've seen you. This pacing, by the way, is normal for him. That's just, he's got ADD, but, but this, this is, um, you are the most relaxed I've actually seen you before a fight, which says to me that you're supremely confident that this is, this is uh, business and you'll be able to finish off Tom and Bear easily. Yeah, I've, I've worked really hard, you know, I'm nearly 90 kilos down. Um, I was actually 90 kilos down, but then I, um, you know, I started to relax and, and had a few Burger Kings before I came down here. But I'm very relaxed because I've done the work, you know, and uh, a lot of people discredit the, the, the work that I've done in, in terms of my boxing skill. I'm coming out tomorrow and um, I'm going to box Tom and Bear, I'm going to box his head off. Uh, it's going to be an uppercut followed by a lot of jabs and uh, he can do whatever he wants and say whatever he wants now but uh, come in the ring he's going to realise just how much better I've gotten. Well, Tom and Bear you say you've got better too. The fight last year you took on three weeks notice. Um, this time you've actually had six months to train for this um, but he is, you know what he's like in the ring and he is a better fighter. Um, just a bit of a, like the TNB said, uh, but I've been here a fight fight in the last year or so, but uh, what he don't know, I've been fighting too. Uh, I don't know if you see in rugby game, but a bunch of people too there, so uh, <laughs> toughen them up too. So um, I've been, I've been uh, getting ready for the last five, six months, so I'm taking you right down, right down, down here. Why do you want this rematch? Why did you want this rematch? There's no knockout bonus. They just got these guys just want to fight. Yeah, I just want to sign him up. Hey, eh? been talking so much, bro. Like um, I'm just sick of it. I was, sometimes I, was, I want to go to sleep. And then people take me on Facebook about stuff that he said. Man, I'm, I'm pretty angry. That's why I, I text you and say, like, wait, I want to rematch the part of me because it's really annoying. So, yeah. I wanted, to, I wanted to rematch. Give it a I wanted to rematch you a week later, okay? Yeah. Everyone, I wanted to rematch this guy a week later to shut all of his fans up that were trolling my page, sending me all sorts of stupid messages that he won. I wanted to find him a week later, but he said he was scared. That's what he said to me. 
And then he's going on about now that he had a torn tricep, torn bicep, all this. I said, he had a torn tricep, cool story. I've, got a, I've still got my torn tricep, I've got, still got my torn bicep, and I've had nine knee operations. But, you know, I shouldn't be surprised because I did play league. You know, so it, it is a lot tougher sport. You're talking about uh, knocking out rugby players. Oh, big deal, brother. Um, yeah, what, what rugby did you play? A lot more. Because he asked me to rematch a week after, because you know he lost the fight. That's why he asked me to fight the no, no, week no, no, after no, that. No, that's bullshit. But um, no, I got, no, I got, that's I'm, a, I'm a rugby player and I've got pay for it. Heaps of money, so I gotta do that first and uh, smash him in second. You get paid for the point. Okay. okay. Up the way you are, you I don't know, know if I'm gonna, money. I don't know if I'm gonna do uh, a stare down. Hey, oh, okay. I don't know if I want to but he's full of shit. Okay, now we are gonna, we're gonna be cool like Fonzie, yeah. and we are going to, we are gonna, should, do we do a stare down? Stare yeah. down. You and me. Look at the camera. Good on you. Alright, um, our fifth fight is sponsored by Burger King. <laughs> 